Millionaires. Welcome back to 5th episode of Millionaire Mastery, where we break down how you can turn your dreams into a 7 figure reality. I'm your host Vaheshi and today we are talking about one of my favorite topics, secrets of self-made millionaires. These are the real practical insights that can help you go from struggling to seek your first million to becoming a powerhouse in the game. I have been thinking a lot about this topic because many of us dream about financial freedom but it often feels far away, right? Like the idea of becoming a millionaire can seem almost impossible if you don't have the right roadmap. But here's the thing, self-made millionaires, they were not born with these golden roadmaps in their hands. They built their paths step by step. So, let's explore what makes these people so successful and how you can adopt these habits to reach your financial goals. Okay, so first things first, you have to know exactly where you are going. Successful millionaires have this clear vision for their life. It's more than just, I want to be rich. It's knowing why they want wealth how it fits into their life purpose and what they plan to do with it. When I first started out, I didn't have this vision nailed down. I was all over the place, but the moment I sat down, put clear on my goals and wrote them down, things started to change. My whole energy shifted. So, here's what I want you to do. Get an notebook and write out where you see yourself in 5 years. Be specific, like really specific. What does your dream house look like? How much money do you want in your bank account? Don't hold back, clarity is key. Alright, let's move into one of the most important parts of success, resilience. Millionaires, especially self-made ones, don't get to the top without some major setbacks. The truth is, failure is a part of the process, but it's how you react to failure that makes all the difference. You know, there was a time when I felt like I was hitting a wall. I had business ideas that didn't pan out, investments that didn't work, and moments where I thought about giving up. But Here's the kicker, millionaires learn from failure, they pivot, adjust and move forward. If you are facing challenges right now, you need to understand that this is a part of the journey. Use those failures as fuel to keep going. Take a second, think of the biggest challenge you have faced recently. What did you learn from it? How can you use it to improve your strategy? Reflect on it. Because millionaires don't avoid failure, they embrace it and grow from it. Now, let's talk about financial discipline, which might not be the flashiest part of wealth building, but it's absolutely crucial. Millionaires are less focused on how they manage money. They know where every dollar goes and they make sure that money is working for them. One of the first habits I developed was tracking my income and expenses. It seems simple, but it's game-changing. If you don't know where your money is going, how can you control it? So, here's a quick action step for you. Spend 15 minutes tonight writing down all your expenses for the week. You'll be surprised at how much insight you will gain. Self-made millionaires are lifelong learners. The world is always changing and they know the value of staying ahead of the curve. Whether it's reading, attending seminars or investing in mentors, they never stop learning. You don't need to be a genius to become wealthy. You just need to stay curious and keep growing. If you are not a big reader, try audiobooks or podcasts 
The key is to keep feeding your mind with new information. Giving back is a mindset shift that a lot of people don't talk about when they are on their journey to wealth. But the most successful self-made millionaires understand that wealth is not just about accumulating. It's also about impact. When you help others, whether through donations or offering your time, you create a ripple effect of abundance. It changes your mindset from scarcity to a world of contribution and growth. Take someone like Tony Robbins. He didn't just make a fortune and keep it to himself. He has dedicated a large part of his life to giving back to his foundation, feeding millions of people. You don't have to wait until you are rich to start giving, either. Even the smallest acts can lead to big results, both for the people you help and for your own mindset. I want to challenge you today. What's one small way you can give back this week? Maybe it's helping a neighbor, maybe it's donating to a cause you care about. It doesn't have to be big. But it has to come from the heart. Millionaires are made by the mindset of abundance. And giving back is the most powerful way to step into that abundance right now. Now, let's talk about something that's often underestimated. Your network. The saying, your network is your net worth, holds true. Self-made millionaires surround themselves with people who inspire them challenge them and push them to do better. You can't expect to grow if you're constantly surrounded by negativity or people who don't believe in your goals. When I started surrounding myself with like-minded people, other entrepreneurs, mentors, people who were also working on their goals, it was like a light switch went off. Conversations shifted from complaints and worries to ideas opportunities and solutions. If you want to grow, you need to invest in building relationships with people who are where you want to be. Here's an action step for you. Think about someone who inspires you, whether that's in your current circle or someone you admire from afar. Reach out to them with this week, ask for advice or just engage in a meaningful conversation. And remember, building your network is not about asking for things. It's about offering value, learning and creating genuine connections. Next, let's dive into time management, one of the most underrated skills when it comes to success. Millionaires don't waste their time on things that don't move the needle. They focus on high-impact activities and understand that time is their most valuable asset. Every minute you spend should be bringing you closer to your goals. That doesn't mean you can't relax or take breaks, but it does mean you have to be intentional with how you spend your time. I started using time blocking a while back and it's been a game changer. I allocate specific times for work, learning, self-care and reflection. And it keeps me focused on what matters. So, here's a quick exercise for you. Look at your schedule for the week. What are the tasks that will truly drive your success? And what can you cut back on? Once you start treating time as your most valuable resource, you will see your productivity and results skyrocket. Lastly, let's talk about the power of visualization and affirmations. This sounds a bit woo-woo to some, but trust me, almost every self-made millionaire I have studied uses these tools to prime their mind for success. Visualization is not just daydreaming. It's about mentally rehearsing your success so that you can manifest it in real life. I used to think affirmations were cheesy, but when I started incorporating them into my daily routine, I noticed a shift. I would wake up and say to myself, I'm a millionaire in the making. Opportunities come to me easily and I create wealth effortlessly. At first, it felt silly, but over time, I started to believe it. And when you believe in your success, 
you start acting like someone who's successful. Here's what I want you to try for the next week. Every morning, spend just five minutes visualizing your goals as if they have already happened. See yourself achieving them. Feel the emotions and let that energy carry you through the day. Pair that with positive affirmations and watch how your mindset shifts. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you with this thought. Becoming a millionaire is not just about the money. It's about transforming who you are in the process. You're not just building wealth. You're building a version of yourself that can handle the ups, downs and everything in between. Every millionaire I have ever studied has one thing in common. They became the kind of person who deserved and could maintain that wealth. Think about everything we have talked about today. Which of these secrets spoke to you the most? Was it clarity of vision, resilience, managing your time better or giving back? I challenge you to take one thing from this episode and start applying it immediately. Don't wait until tomorrow, do it today. That small step could be the beginning of a massive transformation. Thank you so much for joining me today on Millionaire Mastery. If today's episode resonated with you, I would love to hear about. Drop a comment or share this episode with someone you know could benefit from this insight. And if you are not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode of actionable tips and real talk. I will catch you next time. Future millionaires, keep hustling, keep learning and keep trying.